Hey all, Russ here, Barry TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're here in Quartzite. Today is Thursday, January 25th. Gonna head downtown. I had a question and a couple comments. I go, what else is there to do besides a big tent? Well, there's lots to do. We're gonna do a couple things uh, this morning. First one, we're gonna go down and check out the museum. Then I figured we'd run by the High Jolly Tomb. Then I'll show you where the Chamber of Commerce is, where you can find out where more stuff is to do. So let's make a left here on Main Street and get this thing going. What do you say? We've had some rain last few days, on and off. Night before last, it poured. Last video, you seen some of the big tent. All the water, there's a sign, quartzite sign, one of them. But it's uh, about supposed to be 62. It's supposed to be in the 70s by the weekend, so. Come on to the desert. There's Patty's RV and propane right there on the left. Be sure to go and say hi to Devin. Grab some propane while you're in there. And there's Coyote Fresh. A little food market. They got a good meat counter. They make pre cooked meals chicken and ribs and meatloaf and all that in there. They feed a lot of people. Right now, these stores are packed. Most people don't realize how small Quartzite is. General population here is about 3,000 people. So when the snowbirds hit, it goes up into the hundreds of thousands to decimate over a million people come here every winter. Bunch of RVs for sale there on the left. All you need is uh, one big checkbook with a lot of ink. <laughs> So, fun little stop, a lot of people don't know about it, some do, is the Quartzite Museum up here. It's been here a long, long time. They got limited hours, so uh, it's always volunteers that run it. It's very well done and very well kept. They try to keep the old mining history and the old Wild West history around Quartzite here. Gates are open, yay. There are four wheelers everywhere. If it warms up enough, I'm gonna have the dusty nugget out this weekend. Well, what do you say? You wanna go in, we'll look at some old pictures. See what it was like back in the olden days around this old western town, huh? In the desert. That sign there, it says Herb's Hardware. They closed a few years ago. Herb's was a main staple for hardware for a very long time here in Quartzite and they finally went out of business. I think they were in business for generations, decades. Let's sneak in one of these outer buildings first. And they got
got some old stuff. Stove, sluice box, mining history is everywhere around Quartzsite. Little forge there and gold pans. <laughs> Well, I'll walk you up to the front. Show you the sign. This was a stagecoach stop. And there was a miner, I believe by the name of Tyson. He dug a well. That's where Tyson well, well came in. There's your hours. Wednesday through Sunday, 10 a.m. to 4. Anyway, right across the street here is the original well that uh, he dug. So Tyson's well served for, uh, got water for all the stagecoaches. This is a stagecoach stop. And there's the official plaque. This is a historic site on the register and all that. A lot of people come here. It's a small town museum. It's not huge by any means, but a lot of volunteers work very hard. Look at that thing, huh? Now that is ancient. Old metal uh, sluice, mining car. And this operates off donations. So, we got a little donation kitty inside. You throw a couple dollars in if you appreciate it. Well, what do you say? You want to go in and check her out? Lighting in here isn't the best. Look at that. A lady murdered her husband. Oh boy. Look. Way back. Different errors, different times, huh? Hand drawing of the old butcher block, butcher shop in Quartzsite. Now there's a picture of the Scott family. Kim Scott, the owner of Tyson Wells, he's part of that heritage. Him and his family been here for over a hundred years. Another painting. That looks like more of the Scott family. You can imagine being here a hundred years ago or longer. This the old mud wall buildings. Oh, and then the judge. Another claim to fame for quartzite. They did marriages here. You didn't have no waiting, so people would drive from California back in the 20s and 30s and 40s and all that to get married. And there's a judge here that did thousands, literally thousands of uh, marriages. And there's old High Jolly, there's a camel driver. They actually have a real photo of him. And that's like in the 1800s. There's the tomb. We'll go down to the tomb after we get done in here. Just more history. Lots of reading you can do in here. Articles. More families that date back to the original days. And more about that judge. 
Somewhere in here will be, should have a picture of the old jail. Yeah, it's a Hagley, that's the judge's family. The jail that's down at Solar Bills. Behind Solar Bills is the original holding cell. And there's some articles on how people from California came here to get married. <laughs> you just don't think about that stuff. Sure is different now, huh? There's a two horse power wagon. <laughs> oh, wow. Can you see that cactus? Look at that thing. My goodness. There it is. There's that's the same cell that's down behind Solar Bills. And there's even history of Wyatt Earp. Back in the day, they held uh, prisoners there before they took them down to the Yuma State Prison. Or down in Yuma. But there it is. It's still standing. You can go down right today behind Solar Bills, get pictures. They welcome anyone to go down and take pictures of it. Isn't that something? This one's a Kewen family, uh, Kewen Street. That's the street Tyson Wells Showgrounds is on. Old cars, there's some guys mining. I was talking to Kim Scott's dad. Uh, they used to hang burlap, wet burlap, and hang it off the porch and let the hot air go through it. And that's how they cooled themselves in the summer. And just more old history. There's more of the Scott family there. And there's a picture with the article. They would take the needles out of the cactus and they used them for phonograph needles and would sell them. So phonograph needles came right out of the cactus and quartzite. Looks like they had uh, stores, hotels, somewhere. I, when I was in here, they had pictures of what it looked like, like the main street. These pictures are tiny. So here they are. Okay, that's what it looked like back in the old days. Main Street. Wish I could zoom in on these closer for you. Anyway, you get the idea. There's US 60. Highway 60 was the main road going through here. Way before the interstate and all that. There, there you go. That's US 60. That would be down by where Pilot and all that is now. Carl's Juniors and all that. That's old time quartzite. Here's some more pictures of the old buildings. All these pictures are right in the early 1900s. The VIPs of Quartzsite, 1907. Wow. All the school kids, same kind of dresses and shirts for the boys. <laughs> Got the overalls on. 
1960, that picture was taken. 16, not 60. 1910. There's Quartzsite Main Street, 1908. You think it's changed a little? <laughs> and some of the mines, they're out mining. Millions have been made out of gold here. That's another one, an old US 60. There's a wagon hauling ore between Quartzsite and Yuma on the old Yuma Road, which old Yuma Road runs through the LTVAs, runs through La Posa West and Tyson Wash. Some pictures of some old mines. Looks like more mining. Yep. And there's those stamp mills or whatever they call them behind uh, over by Q Mountain. Looks like back when they were operating. Those things had to just make a racket when they were crunching rock. My goodness. And more mines. Way out by Scadan Wash, there's a bunch of mines. It's called Mitchell Mine Road. There's mine shafts everywhere out there. Anyway, it's kind of cool. I mean, if you're looking for something else to do, come on in here. Scope it out. And they got paintings and, you know, people through the generations have just donated here. Oh, more school kids. You notice they never smile. <laughs> no smiles. Back in here, there's up towards the front of the building. Old furniture and tables and dishes. Buck Connors. This was a silent movie star. Buck Connors. And he came to Quartzsite. He's buried here, actually. The town uh, created a Buck Connors Days. They got their third or fourth annual one coming up. It's like an old Western Day festival. They have down at Town Park. I'm not sure when they have it. March, I think. But this guy was a silent movie star back in the 30s, 1930s, almost a hundred years ago. And this old furniture. You can see the old walls the building. It's supposed to be a replica schoolhouse. There's the teacher. Well done for a tiny town, tiny museum. I have actually looked very hard for old pictures of Quartzsite through the years and this has been about the only place I could find any. If you go online there isn't too many. You know sometimes you can go on eBay and find old postcards and stuff. Pretty cool.
All right, more old pictures. Another one of downtown. <laughs> that was modern back in the day, though. More unhappy school kids. They grew up right here in the desert. No air conditioning back in them days. But they survived it. There's the teachers. Most of those generations are gone. More school kids. Look how tall that schoolhouse is. Okay, here's some info on uh, Philippe. Tedro, Tedro. Anyway, hi Jolly, the camel driver. It's amazing they got a picture of him. They've even made movies out of this. Uh, I think it was France. They made a documentary on this. There's been a lot of production companies that come over and filmed here. Ooh. There's a ferry. That's the Colorado River. That's right there in Ehrenberg before bridges. That's how you cross the Colorado River. Put your Model A or T right on the barge and away you go. <laughs> Colorado River, way before they dammed it up, used to flood. They said mile or two wide. And more of the boys out front posing for a picture. All the men wore hats, huh? There's your saloon. <laughs> Pretty cool though, once again. Come check out the history. I suggest stopping here first, then heading down to the tomb, which we'll do that. Oh, look at this picture. now. This is before Interstate 10. That's the bridge that crosses in between Ehrenberg and Blythe. But that's Highway 60. That's way before Interstate 10. So that had to be back in what the 60s and maybe early, early 70s. Way before the interstate. Okay, let's go outside. Someone made this little village all out of stone and donated it here. It's called Barrett Village. Very well done. Here's some of the original walls from the old uh, hotel and stage, stagecoach stop, I think they called it. They built a roof over it to protect it. That'd be what, 130 years old? Old mud walls. They put a plaster or stucco over it. Still here, Oasis Hotel, there you go. Need a bed? <laughs> Dirt floor? These walls could talk, probably a ghost or two hanging around here. And we made it, here's the other end of the front. Got the camel out front. And then straight across the street. Over there is where the original Tyson well was. The hand dug well. 
This is right next to the pizza house, the Silly Al's Pizza. All right, we'll head down the street, go down and see the High Jolly Tomb, then hopefully, yeah, I think the chamber opens by 10. Big family there enjoying the museum. They have volunteers that work here. They'll actually tell you all the stuff I kind of went through about old time quartzite. Once again, it's all volunteers and they work on donations. That rain really cleared the air, settled the dust. Nice clear skies, dust free. And some of these old buildings, see they raised up Main Street 20 years ago and they redid this. Main Street used to be a lot lower. They built it up. Now right up here to the right is Solar Bills. That old abandoned building there was a bar, I think Scott's Bar or something. Right there is Solar Bills, that's where the jail is. Back behind Solar Bills and Gus doesn't care, just go on in, take all the pictures you want. Uh, it's open to the public when they're during their business hours. Definitely historic there. All right, we're going to run up here to Kofa Street. There's a Stagecoach Motel, one of two motels in town. I got a few rooms there. That big yellow tank's K&B tool in the back. The building on the left, that's all abandoned. That used to be a, uh, an old truck stop back in the 40s and 50s and all that. Okay, this is Kofa. That's that yacht club bar and restaurant. These trailers here on the left, the truckers stay in them, I guess. You can rent a room there too. Right here, we're going to make a left and pull into the High Jolly Cemetery. This is where the tomb is. You can see all the puddles around yet from all the rain. If you remember in that uh, museum was Buck Connors, there's his uh, grave. He was a silent movie star back from the 1930s. And this plaque here, it's really hard to read, but kind of commemorates this Buck Connors guy here. And once again, they have a local festival here in Quartzite called Buck Connors Days. They started three, four years ago. Then over here is the famous High Jolly Tomb. Now this is on the National Historic Places, Registered Places. Hundreds of thousands of people stop here to get pictures of this thing. And just not RVers, it's people that travel Interstate 10. They stop and get pictures all the time, year round, even in the summer heat. And there's the plaque for it, National uh, Registry. Been here a long, long time.
another look at the tomb. Big parking lot here. People come, from, like I said, from all over. Pretty cool. Once again, there's a lot to do here besides going to the big tent. All kinds of history. You can go out in the desert, search for rocks, explore old mines. Ton of history. And we're just one block off Main Street. Look how busy all that traffic on Interstate 10. That's year round. That's busy year round. Them trucks never stop. That building straight down, that's that big uh, gem world. There's pilot truck stop and good old Q Mountain across the freeway. Pan around. And there's your big tent. Look, that, that thing is so big. <laughs> they can probably see it from the space station, huh? <laughs> Pretty cool. Well, what do you say? We'll head down to Chamber of Commerce. Okay, we'll just sneak right back up to Main Street, growing a couple blocks away. Old RV park here on the right. And actually all these buildings down through here, this is the true downtown area, Quartzsite. These buildings, uh, a lot of them are open year round. They got rock shops, gym, knickknacks. Then you got the truck stops and uh, uh, mainly fast food. Uh, you got Phil, that uh, main street trading post, pizza. You can see they're mainly rock shops. And right there's the chamber, doors open. We'll just peek in there real quick. You got free parking right here. This used to be Hardy's Beads. He retired, went out of business. Anyway, here's your Chamber of Commerce for Quartzsite. All volunteers that work in there. You can get maps, information on RV parks, businesses, how to do business in Quartzsite, a little bit of everything right here. And they are open. Let's go on in. Oop, they're a little busy. Anyway, let me sneak back here. You can see all the brochures, all the businesses make up brochures. They leave them in here for you to pick up. Anything and everything about Quartzsite and surrounding area, like Baus and other towns. More info on that table. More maps. Then over here, they got maps. You can actually put a pin where you're from. Look at all the ones on the west coast and east. Just all over, all over the world, huh? Anyway, this is Chamber of Commerce.
kind of cool they have all those painted rocks there. Never noticed that. But four wheeling, I mean, you name it, they'll give you the info on it. Especially RV parks and camping. Cool. There's actually vendors. They don't advertise them much behind these buildings. And there's the tire shop, custom tire. They just put two tires on the front of my buggy yesterday. They also carry ATV parts, batteries, that kind of thing. David's a manager. His crew, they treat you pretty good in there. Straight across, there's that Time 3 restaurant. Looks like that flag guy selling us stuff. Well, let's see. I need to head back over to Tyson Wells. Don't forget to come in the game store. Sign up for that free e-bike we're giving away. We're giving on away electric 2.0, a white one. It's sitting right inside the game store. Uh, all the proceeds go to the Quartzsite Food Bank. We're going to do the drawing on the 28th, which is Sunday. So you got plenty of time if you're down here at all. We're in the big tent, Tyson Wells, any of the showgrounds, pop in the game store and make sure you get a ticket for that raffle on that e-bike. Once again, all the proceeds go to the Quartzsite Food Bank. Alright, journey continues. Talk soon.